Uh, my name's Annie Cattrall and I'm a sculptor. I live and work in London and uh, I'm showing three pieces in the human class. Um, capacity, process and pleasure pain. Capacity is basically re-representing the human lungs in glass and they're made by using Pyrex glass which is scientific glass um, so it's got this kind of test tube quality to it and I made it by blowing air into the glass so there's a kind of conceptual connection between the, the um, piece, the end result, i.e. the glass lungs and how they were made uh, so it's the organ of air was made by using air. Process is uh, the alimentary canal from the top to the bottom of the body and I really wanted to kind of again re-representing something that we know and we probably know in diagram but we, we feel but we don't actually necessarily see and one aspect of what I'm trying to achieve is making things that don't look alive in the sense that they're moving or anything but they actually look as if they are inflated so to speak they're actually kind of physically three-dimensionally working in space so they're not diagrams they're not dissections they're re-representations but it basically shows that we've got this channel running right through us and the body intelligently intuitively genetically absorbs everything and then discards what's not necessary for the body this piece is called Pleasure Pain and it's made in collaboration with Morton Kringlebach of Oxford University and some of his major research is about the relationship of um, pain and pleasure within the brain and how that can be seen to be active in a kind of neurophysiological way uh, within the brain. So we work together on this using diffusion um, functional MRI scans and, and functional MRI scans blending those together to reveal these kind of pathways which overlap. So the data that you get when you, when you use functional MRI scans is digital and so that combi we combined that together and modelled it virtually in 3D space and then got it rapid prototype which is an engineering process. So there's things going on inside us all the time which we're unaware of, which our body naturally does. And um, it's only when, you, when something goes wrong that you actually become aware of it.